So Scott, congrats on the film. Accident Man, Hitman's Holiday is just so much fun. What were the cha- what was the challenge of just working on a sequel and building upon, you know, the great base you had with the original Accident Man? Wanted to take the things we learned from the first one and uh, obviously present the same sort of film again, but but better, better action, um, more comedy, um, more colorful, crazy characters. And um, yeah, that, that was the plan. Um, I think I'm very happy with the first one and how it turned out. You know, it's not easy making these independent movies. You don't have the luxury of time and money. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. Um, but I was very happy and it was received very well. But for this one, I certainly I wanted to make it funnier. And I, I do think we achieved that. And um, I think we've got better action as well, to be honest. Yeah, the, the film's just a lot more fun. The comedy definitely lands. I know you worked on crafting the story for both of these movies. So can you talk about just working on the humor and kind of, you know, instilling that like British cheekiness to the, the script? Well, Stu Small is is the writer, and we came up with the story together. Uh, but he's a very funny, witty guy. Um, we've known each other since we were kids, and he's got uh, that sort of schoolboy humour that w- that works well for this, and clearly is. And um, yeah, we came up with the structure of the story together, and then Stu went away and wrote it with his great dialogue. And um, the Kirby's when they came onto it, they they added a lot to the script as well, structurally and you know, a lot of ideas and, and they were great. Um, and yeah, uh, happy with uh, with what we had and was able to make it a little later than we wanted. I, I, it took a few too many years to get the, the sequel out, unfortunately, but you know, pandemic didn't help. But I'm, I'm happy that people get to see the sequel now. Yeah, and um, you know, tell me a bit about the Kirby brothers. I know, you know, they had that YouTube channel for so long. They were doing these really cool uh, shorts on YouTube and doing some inventive stuff with VR. How did you get in touch with them? And they seem like a perfect fit. They absolutely were the perfect fit. And I was lucky to find them. I actually met George Kirby on Doctor Strange. He was Benedict Cumberbatch's stunt double. And so I know him from then. And I saw their YouTube stuff. But they sent me the short that they did. There's another film that they're going to get off the ground. And they did a short, a like sort of concept a uh, ten-minute thing of how they saw that, and they, they gave it to me, and it was every, it was it was fantastic, visually stylish, action was top-notch. Um, you know, they'd not done a film yet, uh, so it was like, guys, do you want to do you want to direct Accident Man two? And luckily for me, they said yes, because you know, first of all, they understand the action completely, coming from the stunt world. Second of all, they're all about comedy and lighthearted sort of entertaining that's what they do um they understand visual effects which you know this day and age that really helps and um they're english and i understand the sort of world of accident man and, and the englishness of the whole situation so perfect couldn't have got couldn't have got a better choice yeah it really turned out well and you spoke about the action even being better in the sequel um, what was the most difficult stunt to work on during this film? Because uh, the action looks great throughout. Oh, most difficult stunt. Well, it threw me out of the van at, at that one point, just because it was the last day of shooting and the schedule changed, actually. And it's like, oh, well, I haven't got anything. I'm just going to go home tomorrow. So you might as well throw me out of the van. So that was fun. Um, and then the fights, I mean, they're all hard. Uh, and I hurt my knee in the first week, which sucks, because then I'm in pain for the rest of the shoot. And it's harder to do some of the uh, some of the movements. But that that happens sometimes. You know, just got to get on with it. The show, the show must go on, right? So Definitely. And like I, one thing that's really nice about this sequel is you've got a good mix of faces, old and new. There's some great returning characters. How much was it important to kind of have that connective tissue and continue building off that uh, the story that we had in the first film? Well, yeah, killed most of the characters in the first one. But luckily for me, I didn't kill Perry Benson and I didn't kill uh, Ray Stevenson. And they are fantastic actors. Ray, of course, 
has done some amazing things and he really brings that gravitas that that character needs i mean when we originally wrote big ray we, we said to ourselves we're going to write this so good because we, we want to attract a great actor and we did in ray stevenson so of course we had to bring him back and perry benson was like that's one of those characters when we did the first one that you're not necessarily you didn't necessarily know that he was going to be as popular as he turned out and he kind of like steals the show in most of the scenes is in and so we're able to bring him into this one in a much bigger way and the, the relationship between my character and his character the bromance that's going on i think is really entertaining and that's what we wanted this film to be about was friendship you know that was the sort of the the theme for the movie yeah, and this has been such a great year for you. Uh, Day Shift just came out, and the director of that, J.J. Perry, also has a stunt background. And the the vampire fights in that movie just looked so awesome. How was it filming that and, you know, doing those different types of stunts? J.J., man, he's coming from the stunts, obviously. He's done a lot of second unit directing. That was hard that day. Like, we, we shot me and Steve Howard's stuff for one day. For the whole day we got all the action done and there was not even a lunch break and i was like we're in america is this is this even a <laughs> we're doing french hours it was bang 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 on to the next on to the next i was actually really tired because i'd had a bit of time off and uh yeah jj just he pushes you you got to push to get good action you got to push the crew you got to push the stunts you got to push the actors you got to push everyone because it's about getting all the different shots the more stuff you've got the better it's going to look and he understood that. And I was just really thankful that he, because I've worked with him in the past before, and I was really thankful that he entrusted me in that role in his directorial debut. And then my last question for you, you've got John Wick uh, chapter four coming up. What was your biggest takeaway just working with another, you know, superstar at action movies like Keanu uh, Reeves? Keanu's great. Everyone says it. He's the nicest guy, and he truly is. He's just such a down-to-earth, nice guy that's interested in everybody's life and, you know, genuinely. And uh, he's, yeah, he's a sweetheart. But listen, man, when he when he gets into John Wick mode and he starts, like, you know, doing his thing, it's intense. Keanu Reeves is one of the greatest action stars on the planet. Without question. He's one of the top five, in my opinion. He's up there with Jackie Chan. He's up there with all of them. Because time and time again, he, he puts his heart and his soul into these action films. Think about how many action films he's done. Now he's on the fourth John Wick, fourth Matrix, Point Break, Speed, amazing action films, all of them. And, and even going into his mid-50s, he's still grinding them out. And you got to respect that. He's given his body and his limbs to the action genre and um, he, he deserves his respect and it is an absolute pleasure to work with him.